Now the thing that I've been really into is is the uh, Synthrotech MIDI to CV. Take a clock from the Tempe here, and then if I go clock in, it will quickly pick up that clock there, and then we can, <clears throat> if this MIDI cable is long enough, take the MIDI out like that, like so. So in this particular instance, I can start driving the, uh, this is a Roland MX-1 mix performer. So uh, basically it, it can work with external sync. And uh, in this particular instance, um, I'm now clocking from the Tempe through, this, through the Synthrotech MIDI to CV and it's driving this sequencer, uh, driving this mixer's uh, tempo based stuff. So we can turn on beat effects for each track and uh, you know all these will now run in tempo with the with the, with the whole thing so it's pretty handy in that respect you know being able to clock midi stuff um, from the rig you know normally you, normally the traditional way really has been doing it the other way around where you send um, where you send the midi in and slave the rig which you can still do obviously it will work in that direction um, um, but that's super handy. So although some modular purists might have a little bit of a heart attack at this point, um, I'm really liking, like I say, some of the hybrid approaches. So I've got the genome sequencer up here, and uh, this Synthrotech will take a, just a USB um, connection. So if I go into settings there, if I go into MIDI, MIDI outputs, um, it shows straight up class compliant. So straight away with no faffing around just on the, on the iPad, it shows up immediately. And then you can go in. Genome's a particularly cool little app for doing sequencing. So, so just go in, write your sequence set it playing and you can see the synthrotech's already picking up the, the midi clock and the midi to cv so for 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 syncing stuff like uh, for for syncing the whole rig to an ipad um because that's another thing when you're first getting started with all the modular stuff just like getting enough modules sequences and everything else can be a bit of a challenge so being able to employ ipads and things like that is still a very tactile experience um, you know, it, it feels like operating a modular, just being able to go in and, you know, or it's hands on like that. So I find some of these things pretty exciting. And another one kind of along those lines is the, is the audio damage audio here. So it's a similar thing, just one USB connection straight in and that'll get you modular. It'll, you know, adjust your signals, which are typically too hot as audio signals from, from a modular system. And you can just go straight in and out of an iPad into a laptop. And again, it will just, you know, it's just, it'll plug straight in. So if I take this out of the MIDI and just put it in the audio, it just locks straight up. And then you can just go in and just immediately start recording stuff from that um, into uh, into whatever device you've got. So I'm really enjoying that kind of whole thing where this, you know, I think it's really cool doing stuff 100% modular, but I think it's also cool being able to take advantage of some of these, these newer things and, and handy portable technology like the iPads.